Hi Aries, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what awaits for you in love for the week of March 25th to March 31st, 2024? I'm going to take a look at your energy, Aries, and then I'll see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone. But if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, let's see your energy first, Aries. Let's see. Spirit angels and guides, please show me the energy of Aries in regards to love for this week. Thank you, Spirit. One more shuffle. What's the energy of Aries in regards to love for this week? Aries. All right, here we go. In your energy, we have strength. We also have the Eight of Cups in the reverse. We also have the Tower in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Interesting, the High Priestess with the Queen of Pentacles and also the Ten of Wands. Hmm. So Aries, it kind of looks like you are doing your best to listen to your intuition with the High Priestess. It does look like your intuition is speaking to you, connecting to you. And I do feel like you're trying your best with the Strength card to to follow along with your intuition. Yeah. It does feel like your intuition is telling you to um, continue focusing on yourself, on your work, your career, your health, could be your finances, your personal stability and responsibilities. I also feel like your intuition is telling you to um, to be patient, to continue being patient, to trust to trust the universe, trust the process is what I'm getting. It feels like you're on some sort of healing journey or self discovery journey, uh, personal growth journey. And it does look like your intuition is telling you to stay on that road. Don't go back to the past. Don't go back to the past. Don't revisit a failed relationship from the past. That was a big burden for you. Or that was a heavy burden for you. Continue working on yourself and improving your, your strength. Your resilience. Your inner power. Okay. That's what I'm getting here. Um, the message is pretty straightforward. So let me move on to your person. Let's see what's going on on that side for the week. Hmm. Okay, let's see. I'm going to get a different deck here. All right, spirit angels and guides, please show me the energy of the person Aries is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week. What is this person's energy towards Aries? For this week, please. Let's get three shuffles. 
That's one. That's two. And three. All right, here we go. What is this person's energy towards Aries for this week? All right, in this person's energy, we have Empress. We also have the Seven of Swords. We have the Ace of Cups in the reverse at the bottom of the deck. Four of Cups in reverse to the Queen of Swords. I see. And the Five of Swords in reverse. Okay, so now it makes sense why your intuition is telling you that or telling you, you know, everything I explained here. Yeah, it kind of looks like um, there's some sort of deceptive, manipulative person um, around you. Um, this person is someone who you were connecting to. Yeah. With the Four of Cups in reverse, this person feels like they missed out on an opportunity with you. Uh, that was my dog, if you could hear it. She wants to go outside. Yeah, Four of Cups in reverse is a missed opportunity. This person feels like they missed out on an opportunity with you. They feel like um, the relationship failed between the two of you with the Ace of Cups in reverse. But it kind of looks like... It Okay, give me a second. Sorry, guys. Let me just let, okay. let my dog outside so she won't stay barking. Give me one second. I'll be back. Okay, and I'm back. Again, sorry about that. Thank you for waiting. So, like I said, with the Ace of Cups in reverse, it kind of looks like this person wasn't able to get anywhere with you. It feels like they had an opportunity. They had an opportunity to be with you, to establish a meaningful, emotional relationship with you with you but they chose to be a liar they chose to be a cheater you know they chose to manipulate you instead and it kind of looks like with the queen of swords you cut this person out of your life because you realize that you can't trust them you realize that this person is not who they is not who they say they are or or their words don't match up with their actions their actions don't match up with match up with their words so with that being said it kind of looks like you decided that um, this is not someone who you need in your life you are showing up as an empress male or female so you know you you know your worth, you know what you deserve. And this person was clearly playing games with you. Somehow some way it, it kind of looks like it it became obvious to you or it became clear to you that this person was just playing games here with you the whole time. So in order for you to protect your integrity, to pro to protect your dignity, um, you decided to cut this person out. Leave them out in the cold. But with the Seven of Swords, it kind of looks like this person has no intentions of disappearing, right? This person has no intentions of disappearing. It looks like they're kind of lurking around you know, lurking around, spying on you, keeping tabs on you, watching you. 
waiting for the perfect opportunity to resurface back up back up into your life is what I'm getting here all right let's clarify that Spirit, what can you tell me about this Seven of Swords, please? Clarify the Seven of Swords. Connected to this person's energy. Okay, so we have the High Priestess. Yeah, double confirmation that this person was definitely lying to you, keeping secrets from you. Um being very shady and and sketchy manipulative tell me about the seven of swords we have the nine of swords and two of swords in the reverse Yeah, I feel like this person made you go through a lot of stress with the Nine of Swords because of their lies, because of their sneakiness. Um, they caused you to experience a lot of turmoil, you know, mental turmoil, mental conflict, mental stress. Because you knew, you could feel that they were keeping secrets from you that weren't good. But this person, it kind of looks like they, um, they never confessed anything to you. They never opened up to you. They were never honest with you. Hmm. All right. Tell me about this Queen of Swords spirit. All right, Knight of Pentacles and the Lovers. And, well, here we have the Devil. Yeah, I feel like this person is toxic, and I feel like that's something that you realized, that this person is very toxic. Um, they're not mature, they're not responsible, they're not committed to you or to their relationship with you. So, like I said, it just kind of looks like as soon as you, you know, realize that this person is toxic or they're never going to change, I feel like that's when you did what you had to do and you kicked this person out of your life. Tell me about the Four of Cups in reverse. Yeah, the Emperor in reverse. Seven of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. I'm definitely getting a little bit of a user energy with the Emperor in reverse and the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. It kind of looks like this person was looking at you as someone who they could use for their benefit, for their convenience. Is what I'm getting here. For some of you, um, you're, you're very well established financially. Um, you have... A good career a good job or you're a very stable person so they saw you as someone who they can who they could benefit from in regards to you know your stability your security your wealth your success But like I said, this person um, this week, they are going to be feeling like you are a major missed opportunity for them that they sabotaged. And I don't see them disappearing from your energy. I do see them lurking around, spying on you and watching you. And um, like I said, looking for the perfect uh, moment in time to reach out to you again and and reconnect with you. OK. Yeah, that's what I'm getting here. So, Aries, I'm going to stop the reading right here, and I'm going to continue in the extended reading. In the extended reading, I will be taking a deeper look at this person. I'm going to see what exactly are their true and real feelings for you. What are their true and real intentions with you? 
What actions will they be taking toward you moving forward, and what will the overall outcome be for this relationship? If you're interested, you can follow me there with the link below the video in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.